cross-sectional density is the ratio of an object's mass to its cross-sectional area with respect to a given axis. It conveys how well an object's mass is distributed, by its shape, to overcome resistance along that axis. For illustration, a nail can penetrate a target medium with its pointy end first with less force than a coin of the same mass lying flat on the target medium. Sectional density is used in gun ballistics. It is defined either as a projectile's mass divided by its cross-sectional area, or as a projectile's mass in pounds divided by the square of, pi asterisk rad, x by 2 equals sq area in inches. During World War II bunker-busting Rickling shells were developed by German engineer August Conders, based on the theory of increasing sectional density to improve penetration. Rickling shells were tested in 1942 and 1943 against the Belgian Fort d'Aubin Neuchâteau and saw very limited use during World War II. Historical Background For historical reasons, within the field of ballistics it is often assumed that the unit of mass is the pound, and the unit of length is the inch. For example, 0.357 magnum, not 0.357 inch magnum. By fixing the units, quantities can be treated as dimensionless. This is the legacy of Francis Bashforth of England who was the first to propose using standard projectiles, circa 1870. Bashforth's proposed standard projectiles all have a weight of one pound and, diameter, maybe should be radius, given authors mucking up his basic algebra on surface area. Also on algebra are they referring to cross-section of circle, because in maths that doesn't have an area. However a disc does and that is the algebra term to correctly use, of 1 inch, which gives them a sectional density of 1, lb slash in superscript 2. For any standard projectile, the sectional density, bc, and coefficient of form are 1. Use in ballistics The sectional density of a projectile can be employed in two areas of ballistics. Within external ballistics, when the sectional density of a projectile is divided by its coefficient of form, form factor in commercial small arms jargon, it yields the projectile's ballistic coefficient. Sectional density has the same, implied, units as the ballistic coefficient. Within terminal ballistics, the sectional density of a projectile is one of the determining factors for projectile penetration. The interaction between projectile, fragments, and target media is however a complex subject. A study regarding hunting bullets shows that besides sectional density several other parameters determine bullet penetration. Only if all other factors are equal, the projectile with the greatest amount of sectional density will penetrate the deepest. Please subscribe and thanks for watching.